What is going on, believers and Ethereum holders? Guys, after successfully launching on the Ropsten and then the Sapolia testnet, there's one final testnet for Ethereum to move to proof of stake, and that's the Gorley testnet. And we're getting updates from Sapolia saying that everything has been working as intended. So it seems like we are very close to a launch to change Ethereum finally from proof of work to proof of stake. Now, what does that mean in the long haul? At this point, it doesn't mean very much, just means that we're switching over the mechanism, but we won't have sharding. They won't be implemented until 2023 at the earliest. So uh, the reduction in fees, all of that, that's to come later. But uh, part one, is almost here. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right. Trying to put money in your pocket, that crypto wallet, that bing bada bing ching ching big profit. All right, guys, we've got to take a hard look at the Ethereum price chart right now. And we can see right here, uh, for those of you that follow me for a long time, uh, I have added a volume profile over here so that we can start looking and get an idea, volume of trading, just to see where the interest is and to see how much of a, a, a move we can make each time we're trying to get trying to make a little bit of money on one of these dips so as you can see right here for the last we had a buy signal a little bit earlier today didn't last very long i uh, went straight back down into a sell signal uh, that just basically means that the um uh, nowhere is holding up very good support right now uh, it looks like the california uh the U.S. market had a little bit of a run-up today. Not a great one, but a little bit of a run-up today. Taking it, clocking out at about 11.82. But 24 hours ago, we were trading in the 12.33 range. 48 hours ago, we were trading at 12.74, getting close to 1,300, trying to bust. So you can see right here, yellow line represents the highest level of trading volume and shows that the trading volume right here was the interesting area. This is where all of the volume was going on. This is where we had to make our stand. And you can see here that as we started to get these little red candles here and we started to see it break down, then that left no support. As you can see over here, uh, we stopped right here. As you can see right here where volume trading shows that we've got a little bit of support right over here. Uh, then it cascaded back down. You got a little bit of a pickup of support right here as we held one more line. Then it cascaded down here. Now this is where the fight begins. If this fight is not held and the support is not held at the 1150 level and we don't start bouncing back up from this, then you can expect a cascade way back down. Now, uh, you know I'm calling for 732 Ethereum at a minimum. That it may get worse. Uh, I'm starting to think that the market sentiment has changed just a little bit. Now, we're still going to see downside. We're still going to see pain in this market. We're still going to see the negativity is still happening, but it is becoming apparent. Uh, Sam Bankman Fried even said today that he believes that we might have reached a bottom and this might just be where we are for a little while, uh, not indicating that uh, we are going any lower or higher or anything just that maybe this 879 move 878 right here uh, could be the bottom now as you know he's not an expert but he is the owner of ftx so uh it when the owners of these big exchanges speak then it's probably pretty important to listen to them especially the smart ones and he seems to be one of the smarter of the two cz being probably the other one that continues to just diamond hand everything now uh, we're starting to see a little bit of run up in the last hour or so uh, bitcoin dropped to twenty thousand four hundred. ethereum was down in the early 1140s now it's back up to 1152 we might be seeing the start of a pump as you can see by the charts 929 right now 930 that means that the uh, the india markets are waking up right now it's about 830 there so starting to see them wake up and if they're feeling good about crypto then maybe we see a little bit of a pump now here's the thing if we get a pump and we start to get it in the next few hours then you can see it pump right back up to about the 1180 then we'll see a little bit of resistance a little bit of a fight there and if it can pass through that then it will take us back up to this level here in the 1220s now the european market has been uh, very difficult the last couple of days. Uh, if you look right in here, this little spot, 
this little area that I'm pointing to right now, that's where the resistance really has been in the European market, and it's not been holding support very well. Uh, then you come over here to the day before, and you can see it didn't hold very well either. Did have a little bit of a pump, but then there was a lot more dump to happen before we even got to the U.S. market waking up. Uh, same thing happened, uh, however, in reverse over here. Three o'clock came around, and we started to pump. Now, it's now Monday in China, and it's now Monday in South Korea, and their indices have shown that they are not in a buy frenzy right now. So we're going to see what uh, we're going to see what India does. Then we're going to see the Middle East. Uh, the Middle East is about sideways trading right now. Really hasn't caused any pump in the market. Um, I don't know what those sheiks are doing with their money right now, but it's not it's not crypto. Uh, then we're going to get to the European market. We're going to know for sure what this market is going to look like. Now, no matter what happens, we still have three days. On Wednesday, we're going to get the CPI report, and it's going to show uh, probably a pretty high level of inflation, probably going to be bigger than 8.6, which is the number that we got last month. That being the case, that would indicate that this market is ready for a lot more downside. And I mean a lot more downside. So if we don't get this pump right now at this time, then uh, buy the rumor, sell the news probably kicks in and we get a mini pump leading up Monday and Tuesday. Uh, you know, hopefully we get back to at least a 1200 uh, so that maybe the dump doesn't feel as bad and maybe we fight through a few more levels of support. But with this market right now, it's very difficult to say. Moving on. Support has been waning. Uh, there's a lot of general apathy. The risk markets, especially cryptocurrency, have not seen a lot of inflow of cash, have not seen a lot of inflow of money in any way, and have not seen positive sentiment. But that positive sentiment is just around the corner. Now, a couple days ago, we watched as we hit the one trillion market cap. After the one trillion market cap was hit, we then immediately started tanking back to 954 trillion or 954 billion as of this with a 74 billion dollar volume. And uh, you know, one of the bad things that we have to remember is that we used to see uh, a few months ago massive amounts in Tether, massive amounts in USDC. Now we're not seeing nearly as much. So that money has come out of these markets. So uh, something's going to have to give for them to get back in here. It's going to have to be the world markets starting to cooperate with the crypto markets. Uh, so want to know what you think. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the content. Um, and then hit the bell to be notified of new content. But my name is Bleaves. This is not financial advice. I'm always right. And uh, we got about three days, so I hope we get a pump out of it. You guys have a good night.